Page 15, Clooney the Clown. At the top of the page, they're introducing another Italian word. It's usually in the music like a CRESC, which means crescendo, and is, is exactly the same as the hairpin. If you look on page 14, on the first line and the second and third measure, you see that hairpin between the staves? That's a crescendo. There's no difference. A lot of times in band, when we're playing in band and we see the word crescendo or something, we'll take a pencil and we'll draw in a hairpin because it's easier to read the hairpin than it is to read the word. Anyway, that's all it means. You're not really learning anything new other than C-R-E-S-C -E means get, gradually get louder. Let's look this piece over. This is two pages long. You'll notice it goes on to page 16. That means there's a page turn involved. Well, we'll have to talk about that. It's treble and bass clef, one sharp in the key signature. We're in the key of G major, which means all the Fs are sharped automatically. And common time, or 4-4 four, four time, we've got a bunch of eighth notes and quarter notes and whatnot going on. Take it one hand at a time, we are moving around a bit. Right hand, you're starting out here in this position. Don't forget the F sharp. One and two and, one and two and, three and. Then you'll get a bunch of rests. During the rest, you got to come down to the, the same position, but down here. You're here. For the third measure. Now remember, when I play, I use weight to push the notes down. So all I'm doing is I'm just transferring weight from finger to finger here. I'm just rolling the hand over. It's here, to here, to here, to here, to here. I'm just transferring weight from finger to finger. Don't hold the hand still and try and use the fingers to do it. I really don't recommend it. Anyway, at the end of the first line, you're here, then you have three beats of rest to come back up here. And then just reach down, and, and in second line, second measure, you're here, and then during that rest, you need to be in this position. So you just come up one. The thumb comes down, and I recommend third finger on the last note in the second line. And that's because of what the third line, the third line is up here again. And we're back to this G chord we had, we're just not using the B. And that's sort of what I do on here, similar to what we did on page 14. And the third line is similar to the second line, and then the last line down there, you're down here. And you have rest, you got time to move. Reach up, just one note. At the end of the line, it's here. Top of page 16, you're here, you, you, this allows you to be in this position, and on top of page 16, you've got a G sharp, here, you reach up again, at the end of the line, you have a, I just do a 2-3 there on a F sharp C, okay, sharp A, and now you just can lift up, just lift up and move, here, because there's no rest, lift up, like you were at the beginning. For the left hand, we're well, starting here. There's a one. And then two measures later, you get the, just reach down, and you get one beat rest to come up here. For two and four, so you're in this position. Second line, one, two, two. Oh, and this one. Let's go down to the last line on the page. You're here, and here. And that doesn't work very well. So I'm going to recommend that for the last line on page 15, second measure here, the G and the B, you finger those two and one. This way my left, my little finger's right there ready to go. Because if I go here, that's a stretch. I don't want to do that. So the end of the third line, I'm here. And during the rest, I'm going to move the hand down so it's two and one. Then on page 16, you're up, go ahead and come up here, four and two. And the reason I say that is because in the next measure they tell you four. I mean, they could have told you here, but I'm, I just, since I need to be there in the next measure, I'm gonna go there now. C sharp, reach down. And during the rest, you, actually, I would suggest here, because the right hand is moving, I don't like moving both hands. I'm just going to stay here, just on the second line, I'm going to use two and one on the first one, and 
and then come up and use four and one. I'm going to move for the second note. So I'm staying here and then come up. Four and one, and then I'm here. It just makes it a little easier when I go to put the hands together uh, and I can concentrate on moving the right hand where it goes. I don't have to worry about the left hand because I'm not moving yet. Put the hands together. So we're here and here. Just don't and a one and two and three and rest and. As we're playing jazz playing, I'm coming down here. One, rest, restart. Come up and, and as you do this, and as you're doing this, get the right hand up here. It's ready to go, so that then you can focus on getting the left hand up. Because you only get one beat rest to get the left hand up. So have the right hand there ready to go. Here, rut. Now up here. And I'll, for now, because I'm connecting everything, make sure you hold those left hand quarter notes down one beat. On the second line, it's when I play the E, it comes up. You get the idea. Uh, as you're moving your hands around, try and one hand plays, the other hand moves at the same time. Now, on top of page 16, at the top on the first line, let's go to the last two measures. You're here. I got both of the, all these down. I gotta move the right hand up here. That's why I'm suggesting two and one in the left hand. So I don't move the left hand yet. I can focus on the right hand, get it up. And then as I'm playing the rest here and here, now I can move up. So I'm moving one hand at a time here. So it's. Anyway, you put the hands together. Then go through it however many times and get rid of any hesitations anywhere. No hesitations allowed. Keep it slow as fine, but no hesitations. And then I think about the articulation. The slurs and staccatos here. Just hints at the wrist is real short. Rest. 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 See, now it's staccato on the left hand to connect the right. At the bottom, the last line on page 15, second measure, you have an accent. Just play a little louder. Accent. Top of page 16. Uh, first line, last two measures. Connect this, just connect it. There's nothing marked. I mean, there, there's no slur or anything. So I'm telling, just connect. That's it. That fermata, that hold, just hold that up however long it feels right. If I do it with a metronome, I'll hold it for four counts instead of two and then go on. Lift up and go on. Once I have an idea of the articulation, then I think about the dynamics. Here, when it's one hand playing at a time, then it applies to both hands, the dynamic. But like in the second line, the left hand needs to be in the background because the right hand has the melody. So we're starting out loud, whatever you think forte or loud is. I'm using a lot of weight. I'm feeling real heavy here. And then second line, now it's mezzo piano, sort of soft. Yeah. The left hand is light, very soft. I stay that until the last line, I go up to moderately loud here. Mezzo forte. That makes the accent a note a loud note. Like, do that, the whole note, that's the, that's the melody, and the other hand, wherever it is, has to be in the background. At the top of page 16, you see the word crescendo. That's the same as a hairpin. Just pretend there's a hairpin in that first measure. You're moderately loud. You go up to loud. Here. And then stay loud. 
that's both hands. And now you're loud. You're, there's no other dynamic says anything else. So we're loud here in the second line. That's the right hand. Left hand's in the background. I'm very heavy. I'm just really heavy now. Third line, come down to mezzo piano. Last line, you're loud again, like you were at the beginning. Then I think about the speed. Well, it's back to that allegretto. That's between moderato and fast. It's in the middle. It's, a it's the overall feel of it. These eighth notes need to be even and controlled. So on the second line here, how fast can you play those evenly and controlled? And that's good enough. At the top of page 16 on the first line, the last two measures, there's a retard there. The retardando, gradually slow down. for however long it feels right, and then you go on. Then interpreting it here again, go back, add the natural accents. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, One two, three, four. Add those in. The other interpretation ideas they're giving them to you, all the articulation and dynamics and all that, that's part of interpreting the music. They're sort of telling you how to interpret it. me that's just one way of playing it you don't have to take it that speed you may feel it a little differently now we have to deal with this page turn I'm surprised they're giving you page turns already there's different ways of handling page turns when you're playing sometimes you're reading music and you have to make page turns what you don't do I hope is you don't mess up the beat because of the page turn. See, I've heard people in performing and reading music and when they get to the end of a the page they'll stop turn the page, and then continue on. Please don't do that. That's, that's, that's just, that's like the worst thing you can do. The beat needs to be a steady beat. It's like I said, when you move your hands around, don't mess up the beat. Well, it's the same thing with page turns. When you make a page turn, don't mess up the beat. The beat has to keep going in spite of the page turn. So what do we do? Well, there's different ways of handling page turns. We just will talk about it since you've got it. And I'll talk about it again when we get more. Okay. The most desirable, the best way of handling it is simply memorize the piece. You don't have to deal with reading the music. If you can't do that, then memorize one page of it. Either the first or the last page doesn't matter. That's another way of doing it. If you don't want to do that, Maybe there's somebody who'll turn the page for you. That works, I've done that a number of times. Or if you have to turn the page yourself, then we deal with it. You find, if possible, is there a place near the page turn before or after it where one hand is resting? It's like at the bottom of page 15, the right hand is resting in the next to the last measure. The left, the right hand's not doing anything. So if I would memorize the last measure on page 15, just memorize that one measure, then while the left hand's playing that measure right in front of it, I can quickly turn the page with the right hand. And then I play the last measure from memory, and then I can go on. There. 
So it's up to you on where it is. The trick is when neither hand is resting, and then we have to figure out something else, and I'll talk about that when we get there. Huh? But right now, I'm suggesting that you memorize the last major on page 15. It's just this. That's all it is. And turn the page then on the major in front of that with the right hand while it's resting. Yeah, but don't mess up the beat. We do practice page turns in piano if we have to. I've done that a number of times, getting ready for a performance. I will make sure I can get all those page turns without messing up the beat. Sometimes I have to put a little notes in the music. Memorize this, turn page here, whatever, to, so I'll remember what I've worked out. Mm -hmm. Let's play this together very slowly and check the notes and the rhythms. Now, because it has a page turn, I can't do that in the play with me. So, we're going to do page 15. I'll give it four counts, we can play it. And then we're going to stop. I'm going to turn the page, and I'll count in again another four beats, and then we'll do page 16. Because we're not performing it here, we're just checking notes and rhythms. So, let's do page 15 first. One, and two, and ready, and go, and one. One and three and and rest and rest and three and four and three and four and Rest and rest and two and three and rest and and one and two. One, two, and ready, and go, and one, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and four, and hold, and two, go on. Rest in. Rest in. Rest. 